Today in All Things 80s, it's the Kinder Surprise Egg. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now today I managed to find a Kinder Surprise Egg. Now this is especially important for two reasons. One, I haven't had one of these since the 80s and two, these are banned in America. Now, my understanding is that the reason they're banned is because the entire shell of the egg is food. And within that food is a plastic component and that just does not fly under American regulations. And as a result, they do sell a type of Kinder egg in America, but I believe it's like half and half so only half is chocolate and half is plastic and the toy is within the plastic half don't quote me on that but it's something along those lines but regardless this is banned in america so i'm holding contraband well i'm not actually because i'm in scotland so it's perfectly legal but the fact is i have found one and like i said these were something that i got in the 80s and these were wonderful on two levels one the chocolate itself is delicious. But two, it, back in my day, there was like a yellow uh, capsule type thing which contained components to build a toy. And these were pretty decent toys, I may add. It, it wasn't just some junk that you would get uh, from a dollar store type thing. This was, These were decent toys. Also, I remember probably 85, 86, they had a lot of commercials on TV. And one of the commercials had what they called the Kinderman, which was like a bald headed chap with a nice suit. And one of the toys available in, the, in these eggs was the components to build a model of that man. And for some reason, I just wanted that so badly. And I would go through so many of these eggs trying to find that toy. And one day I did find an egg with that toy and I was just over the moon. Now, I don't know what to expect from this. However, I can see the, the wrapping whilst it's, it's pretty much as I remember it. Uh, although this does have one of those minions. Minions, is that what it's called? One of these new fad things. Uh, the wrapping is not quite as it was because in my day it was just wrapped whereas this has been perfectly sealed i'm guessing it's like regulations these days it has to be perfectly sealed but anyway get this thing opened up and one test the chocolate see how it tastes does it taste the same and two see what toy we get so i remember Depending on how warm the room was, if the chocolate had reached room temperature, you could, you, you could kind of prise it open gently with a bit of pressure without shattering bits of chocolate everywhere. And I've managed to do that. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, the chocolate itself was absolutely delicious. So you see we have milk chocolate on the outside and white chocolate on the inside and I can actually smell it. It does, it smells as it did back then, but does it taste the same? Let's see, take a little piece. Yep. Hasn't changed a bit. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Now, this is a major change. I can see the capsule here. One, it's a different color or different shade of yellow. And two, it's not in two parts. So the one I had was just like two parts, which of course, if you were a boy in the 80s, you quickly realized if you put it together and squeezed it, the top part would come flying off like a bullet. So I guess for health and safety purposes, they've had to sort of redesign it and it appears to be on a hinge, so there's no way of firing off the separate parts, which 
let me see here. Okay, yeah, that's that's boring. You know, like I said, said these were two separate parts, and you could ping them off. And another thing I've noticed straight away are depend the, the color scheme of these toys suggests it may not be something that would have appealed to me. I think back when I was getting these, they were very much aimed at boys. It was a lot of cars, uh, military tanks, that kind of thing. Whereas this one, I can already tell, is one of these Minion characters. I don't even know what Minions are. I haven't watched the cartoon or movie. Uh, Despicable Me. I don't know what that means, but... And this is like a... Hey, it's like a surfer type uh, Minions model, so I can quickly assemble this. This is disappointing, actually, because when I was building these, I got clockwork, like clockwork cars that actually, uh, actually did have working mechanics with inside of them. This just seems simplistic and boring and Quite frankly, this is not something that uh, any boy would particularly lust after, uh, unless you're slightly strange, I guess. Uh, what the hell? Can't even get this thing on. Yeah, it's such a bad toy, even a grown man can't assemble it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they have an element of mechanics to it. So this is what, it doesn't even say what it is, but it's one of these minions. Like, I mean, I keep, I keep saying minion, I might be wrong on that. No, minions around the world, despicable me. So I, I am correct in calling it a minion. Um, this is like a surfing type girl. Uh, I'm assuming that's coconuts shielding her breasts from view. And it does kind of wobble back and forth. Okay, excuse me, that was disappointing. However, the chocolate was not disappointing. So all in all, yes, I'm happy they still sell the classic Kinder Surprise egg. I'm happy the chocolate is exactly as I remember it back in the 80s. The toy itself is not something that I would have liked as a child. And I'm, I find it hard to believe that boys in 2019 would be happy with this. Um, it's basically like a statue that wobbles. But anyway, that was the Kinder Surprise Egg. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please do like, please subscribe. See you in the next video of All Things 80s.